हेलो एवरी वन सो आई वॉज नेवर रियली अ फैन ऑफ जीरा क्लाउड आई मीन ऑफकोर्स आई यूज जीरा क्लाउड आई हैव टू यूज इट बिकॉज एवरी वन इज ऑन ऑन क्लाउड डेट इज डेफिनेटली द फोकस नाउ वेन वेन जीरा क्लाउड वॉज अनाउंसड एज द फीचर देन आई वॉज नॉट रियली श्योर अबाउट वेदर जीरा क्लाउड वुड बी adopted or would be loved by various companies now one thing which i wanted to highlight today and uh, talk about and that is of course the topic of this video i want to talk about jira work management now jira work management i think has become really good so jira work management was uh, not really there earlier earlier it was something called as jira core so when you used to create a project in uh, in jira you had two or three options depending upon whether you're using jira software or jira service management or both but if you have let us say a license for jira software and jira service management then of course you can create those software or uh, jira service test based projects but jira core was always like a simple business based project but now it is not it is a bit different it is, it is uh, definitely a uh, feature rich and there are a lot of features that uh, you can use in jira work management that may be applicable to a non technical project or team but it can also be used by uh, technical teams so let me show you very quickly and i'll probably you know just give you a very quick walk through or uh, like a like a very quick feature uh, walk through of what jira jira work management can do now if you are let us say new to jira then uh, you need to learn of course these things like doing basic uh, jira admin stuff if you are jira administrator then then you can ov obviously create a new project that is what uh, jira administrators can do so when you create a new project you will be presented with this option or the template or various templates that you can select now of course we have these uh, three main categories on top software development service management and work management and by the way on my channel i think i have made plenty of videos around i, I think I, i talk about these things quite regularly but even in the last uh, few months i have talked about uh, you know these things now today of course i want to quickly show you and walk you through the highlights of jira work management uh, based projects so you can select the project uh, template here and don't worry about uh, selecting the wrong template so there is no wrong template you can always modify your project because when you select one of these templates you will probably get uh, some issue types you will probably get some uh, workflows or uh, some fields so things can always be changed for example if you select let us say project management uh, then of course you will get uh, some workflow but if you are let us say new to jira and you're not really sure and you are probably trying to figure out okay whether this template is right or uh, wrong or not really relevant for me you can always take a look at the details for example if you look at the new employee onboarding template you can see here that this particular uh, project will come with uh, one issue type called employee with uh, a workflow so this workflow although it is not really detailed but it will give you an idea so you can always use uh, uh, these templates to get an idea in the beginning and i would recommend that if you are new to jira try these templates there is no harm in creating a project with one of these templates play with it and then of course you can later on decide which one really works for you so for this particular example let me do one thing let me just uh, select here uh, uh, a template that and by the way there are so many templates even within jira work management so let us select a simple project management template and if you click on the details you can see here that it will come with a task and it's and a sub task and uh, this particular page here is something where you can read a bit more about what this template is all about but the workflow is actually very simple it has only three states to do in progress and done that is it so if you select the template use template of course so let us uh, you know let us give our project a name let us say we want to call it as a pm um pm what pm campaign management and uh, create a project 
So when you create a project, you can of course immediately start using it. But today I of course don't really want to do a deep dive. I just want to quickly walk through what all you get. Now the first thing is in this particular project, you will get uh, these three columns. So you can always, you know, visualize your work. It's like a Kanban view, which is of course not highly customizable, but for majority of people, I think this will work just fine. And these columns are mapped to those states. So this is in a way a workflow, which is like from to do, you can go to in progress and then maybe you can go to done. So let us say you have task number one, you can create it. You can also create task number two, which can also be done very easily. You can always, you know, move your items from one column to another column, or maybe you can move it directly from uh, to do to done. And uh, you do have, uh, you know, options here to maybe modify it further. But l let us not worry about the configurations. Let us take a look at the list view. So if you're looking at the list view of your project, you basically have the list of items that you need to do basically the same list or the same list of tasks that you need to create or that you need to maybe manage. But you, you have this, the option to basically review them in a tabular format. So let's say you have task number three, task number four, one thing which I really like about uh, this view, and by the way, when you're working on this project, you can always collapse your uh, sidebar, either you can do it by clicking this uh, arrow, or you can press the bracket square bracket left one, and you have now more uh, space to work on. Now the good thing about this view is that you can always modify things from the same view. So you can uh, maybe change the status or you can maybe uh, use some of the fields. For example, you might have a category uh, and this needs to be configured. You can probably assign it to someone. You can have like a due date for these activities and you can change the priority. You can change uh, maybe the priority to high. You can also add uh, labels because labels will help you in uh, maybe tagging these tasks. And uh, you can always, you know, look at the list here, filter it if you have to, maybe you want to create your own filter, maybe you want to create uh, a filter or basically you want to filter, let us say by, let us say the status. So you want to only focus on in progress items. So you can click on this and you can obviously just focus on in progress tasks that you have in the in the project. Now calendar view is uh, again, just another view where you have the option to look at those activities that you have or task, but on a calendar, for example, based on the due date, you may want to see those items here, uh, like what all activities are due on 20th. But good thing about this particular view is that you can also create new task. So let us say this task needs to be done. Uh, maybe uh, you want to say that, okay, I want to do this activity starting from 21st and 22nd, you want to end it on 22nd. So you can also plan it on a on a calendar. And this is amazing, right? And uh, when you're looking at, let us say a task, for example, if you click on this particular task in Jira, uh, because we have also a subtask within our project, you can always create a subtask. And these subtasks can basically, um, can, can, can basically be visible or managed within this parent. So for example, this, for this particular, for this particular activity, where we have, let us say, a big activity that needs to be done over the period of time, maybe in a couple of days, you can create multiple subtasks, you can call them child, uh, basically, you know, let us say you're, you're, do, you're doing some onboarding, right? And when you onboard someone, you might want to maybe uh, do three or four activities. So you can always have like a parent and uh, create a child or multiple children under it. And these all can be managed within that particular parent activity. The timeline view is amazing because uh, uh, you might be coming from MS project background where you, where you want to plan the work on a timeline. So that can also be done. For example, if you want to do your task one starting from you know this date to that date, you can actually just do it the planning part on the timeline. So if you want to maybe specify that I want to do task uh, or particular task, sometime in September and it will go all the way till October, you can do that. And uh, this is again something that many people really 
look forward to. And this timeline view, I think it helps when you're doing some initial high level planning, because it will because I think we as a human, we as human beings, we uh, or, 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 or at least modern human beings, we are used to uh, look at calendars, we, we, are, we are used to look at things on a timeline, right? So I think this is definitely useful, because when you start doing something, when you plan some activities, you can see, okay, we have to do five or 10 activities. And uh, sometime in October or December, my whole project can be, you know, completed, right? So this particular view will definitely help you. And the form option here is basically like like an issue collector basically you can create a form that you can publish and by the way i've made a video on this particular topic you can refer to that video and by the way if you are new to my channel and if you're not really sure about how to search of course you can search on youtube i mean that is where uh, i post my videos but if you go to my website ravisagar.in you can always uh, um, search here for example if i search for jira work management uh, you can see all the uh, projects or not projects yeah these are my projects but the, all the videos uh, that I might have on on Jira work management so the I, I've made videos on Jira work management in the past but uh, the main reason that I wanted to highlight or the main reason that I wanted to make this video today is because I think Jira work management has uh, really improved and if you are new to Jira customizations Jira uh, administration, then you can always, you know, learn it. It's not difficult. You can always go to your Jira project settings. And then you can, you know, just look at what you have. Uh, we have the option to create and configure notifications, we can always create different, uh, uh, maybe workflows. And uh, when you are looking at your Jira uh, work management configurations, you have the option to always uh, modify it. And by the way, Right now, we are looking at uh, Jira work management uh, based project, which is uh, of uh, team uh, managed type. Basically, when you create projects in Jira, you have two options. Either you can create a team managed project or you can create a company managed project. But if you want to create the same project using um, company managed uh, type, uh, company managed projects can, also, can, can only be managed and configured by Jira administrator. So let me let me let me show that very quickly if, if you go back to your uh, if you go back to your uh, uh, jira project creation and let us say you create uh, let us say a task tracking project so if you take a look here you have the option to select the project type here which is uh, usually by default team managed but uh, if you want to create some standards within your organization maybe i'll just select this, the same template to be honest so we have uh, the same thing but of course for company managed based projects so so company managed or campaign management project uh, number two let me just name it as uh, something like company managed and if we now create this project uh, you will probably see each and everything which is uh, similar to what you just saw but uh, uh, the difference is that when you have when you're working on a company managed project, you might uh, have few features that uh, look different or slightly behave differently. Because when you're when you're looking at the company managed project, the 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 workflow, I mean, first of all, you won't really have control over the workflow and the configurations. But if you look at uh, the configurations, the usage part from end users perspective is, um, I mean, the usage is probably not too different. But when you look at the configurations, for example, if you want to change the workflows, or if you want to change the screen, so you have things that are uh, managed by your Jira administrator. So uh, my personal recommendation is to first review your use case, I think if you have like a decent size, I'm not really saying too big. But even if you have like a small team or medium size based team, my recommendation would be to use company managed projects because then you can create some standards. For example, when you create a project in Jira, you have the option to, of course, define the workflow for that for that for that particular type of process. For example, maybe you have your HR team, or maybe you have your uh, l let us say PMO team, and they want to manage their projects or manage their activities, but you want each and every PMO team or each and every HR team or each and every software development team or whatever team, they should follow like a standard defined process. 
which can of course uh, be configured in Jira and which can be reused by multiple projects. So my recommendation is always company managed projects or in most cases company managed projects because uh, you will then have uh, a standard way to not only work on Jira but also to report the progress. Imagine you have 10 projects and five of them are using same set of configurations but remaining five are using their own set of con configurations, their own workflows, their own statuses then you can't really consolidate the progress, right? So uh, I'm always inclined towards company managed projects. So in this video, I thought I'll probably just, you know, talk about work management, Jira work management based projects, because uh, I think Jira work management based projects, uh, my opinion has changed. I think now I'll be happy to recommend Jira cloud. I mean, of course, you know, majority of people are, majority of organizations are using Jira cloud anyways, but uh, if let us say I have to recommend uh, Jira Cloud versus Jira Data Center, I think Jira Cloud has definitely improved. I, I'm glad that Atlassian has been adding a lot of features, really good features, and making Jira Cloud a uh, uh, really suitable tool for almost any kind of uh, team, whether it is technical or non-technical teams. All right, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.